George takes his duty as Jungle King very seriously. There's no place too high, too low, too dangerous, or too stinky for him to protect. Our jungle's that way. Like, for instance, the sleepy lotus flower fields. Ah. <laughs> The vine that's not connected to anything. Hey, ape! George can see treehouse from now! Disappointing jelly bean gulch. Only green and black, all the way down. Who eats these? The dark heart of the jungle. <laughs> oh, Hardy. <laughs> George fall for that joke every time. George leaves no stone unturned, protecting the entire jungle. Or at least, he thinks he protects the entire jungle. Phew! Who knew jungle have so many stones? Yes, well... Time for a break! Last one in is a rotten banana! <gasps> and go into mirror floor! What? What are you talking about? Hey, only head! Ah! And grow new body! George, I'm swimming in a lake. I'm swimming in lake! Wait, what is lake? Oh! Hey, stop, big mighty fish! Oh. Oh. Hey, George, no protect water animals. Must fix. You're the Jungle King, not the Lake King. But Lake in Jungle, George must help lake animals. George, you can't breathe underwater. Oh, ape half point. Aha! A primitive snorkel. Very clever, George. But it's still not your... Are you trying to drink the entire lake? Distinctly unqualified to help underwater. I'm sure the fish can handle their own problems. But ape! Fishies need George help! I'm sorry, George. Unless you trade your lungs for a pair of gills, you're never going to. Breathe through your neck like a fish. Enjoy the new gills, George. <laughs> Suffocating? <laughs> yep. Well, run along, George. Better get to the water before you asphyxiate. <laughs> I'm a doctor because I love to help. Who wants balloons for their birthday? Not for free. Okay. Okay. No more be afraid, water animals. Jungle King, here to help. <laughs> The lobster shivering called. George, help make warm. <laughs> Snakes drowning. George, come home. You don't belong here. <laughs> Is that my fine silverware? No. <laughs> Oh, poor fishy sad. George, help! Be happy, sad fish. <laughs> hmm, maybe you lonely? Look, sad fish, new friend. Uh, uh, yay? Lobster friends, all warm now? Hey, do you see lobster friends? Lobster friends? Oh, yes. They went to a, a better place. I'm watching their bib for them. <laughs> I only have an elementary grasp of Fishtonian, but perhaps I can translate. Please, please, please go away. Please. You're so good at this. Maybe Water Lake not need help. What should George do? You should go home and... Rescue filthy fish! Hey, shark! No eat, little fishy! You rule from new king, okay? No! 
Coffee gummies? George good? Huh? No eat guppies. Eating guppies bad, okay? Ow! Hey, who throw boot? A better question might be, how did they throw that? Pay attention, sharks. No eat guppies. Eat other tasty stuff, okay? <sighs> it was bound to happen. At least George saved guppies. Except that one. And those. Hey, you don't listen. Stop eating guppies. Your intentions are noble, George, but you're king of the jungle, not king of the lake. As long as sharks cruise the waters, guppies will be eaten. Hmm, you right, Abe. <laughs> yes, well, that's all very good, but where are you going to put them all? Hmm. Many partial devourings later... See, Abe, no more sharks. So Guppy's all happy. Of course, now I have to find a new place to sleep. Mm. Oh, you right, Abe. Ooh, time for bed. <sighs> See you in morning. Without any predators, <laughs> the guppies are breeding out of control. Hmm. George, know what he have to do. Good. Now, once you bring the sharks back, we can... Where are the sharks? George, find something better. Which doctor helped make new guppy eater? Oh, no. Look at tasty guppies, tigers. Mmm, yum, yum. <laughs> I suppose opposites attract. At least water filled with cute guppies. Could be worse. <laughs> Could be dangerous monster. George. George of the jungle. Hi. We are the Gup. A critical mass of fish intelligence. Before we were food, now we are the everything. Meat? All must join us or perish. Join us. Ah! Hey, did George make the lake bad? You really, really did. And George fix. First step, bring back sharks. <laughs> Where sharks? Turkey, turkey. Sharks grow legs and breathe air! But evolution doesn't work like that. Well, they don't seem to care. Sharkfish, stop! No eat zebras! Go back to water! Lots of guppies in lake! Mmm! They seem to prefer zebras now. George, stop! You can't go back in there. You'll be guputized. George, sorry he mess up, Lake. Please be normal fish now, okay? No. Without the sharks, we are unstoppable. Unstoppable? Don't you... you know what we mean. Look, Ape. Tigers and water cows have cute babies. <laughs> George have plan, but maybe Lake not want George help. George, I think that fish has already swum. What? Just do your plan and fix the lake. Yeah, follow George, baby tiger, water cows. Hey, fish cube. George, have you come to join the collective? Oh yeah, but first, um, George want to show you what he can do. <laughs> Watch George. <laughs> That's not that impressive. 
Wow, huh? Huh? Also not impressive. Enough mildly interesting swimming. You will join us now. Tiger water cows, now! No, no, we are legion. We are delicious, apparently. George? George! George? Uh, George? Fix Lake? Yes, George, somehow you did. Oh, good. George want to go somewhere not wet now. Back to jungle. All right, George, let's get you your lungs back. Hey, kids, I need those lungs back. Uh. <laughs> the jungle, an oasis of calm and tranquility. Sweet mother of coconuts, it's the stars of our show. George of the Jungle and his wise mentor, Ape. Our heroes are on their way to stop a scuffle over an injured pastry separated from its herd. From turning into a full-on psychic ape apocalypse. George, they'll destroy the jungle. George, stop, brain fight. Oh no, if only George knew how terrible his plan was. Huh? What, Skyboy say? Yanking a banana during a class five mind war will tear the fabric of reality itself and lead to the end of the universe. Wow, uh, okay, maybe George not do that. But George, no! We have to do something. If only our heroes knew the secret weakness of all eight counselors, vanity. Did you hear that, George? George know what to do. Good work, George. No, thank George. Thanks, Sky Boys. Aw, oh, shucks, guys. It was nothing. Just doing my job. No, it's true. Who would have guessed having an all-seeing, all-knowing presence on our side really helps? George, make Sky Boys jungle deputy. <laughs> oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh. <clears throat> I would love to, because the volcano is about to blow. It's a good thing George and his new deputy are ready to stop the eruption. Good one, Deputy Sky Voice. Let's go. Now, Ape really wanted to go. It's just too bad he had to stay behind and clean up the mess. Really? Oh, that's too bad. It's a jungle. It's supposed to be messy. And thanks to George's muscle and the narrator's warning, the jungle is safe. Sky Boy's so right. Uh-oh. What, Deputy? I feel a montage coming on. Jungle fires are a breeze when you can just narrate up a rainstorm. Poor animal behavior is nipped in the bud. Tiger know what Tiger going to do. And villains don't even get off the starting line. All thanks to the amazing and handsome-sounding narrator. Hey, and? Oh, uh, sorry, and George, King of the Jungle, too. The deputy and his king return from another heroic day of keeping the jungle safe. Sky boys make everything sound good. George, feel like going on patrol? I miss the action, you know? The old team, George and Ape, working together. Tut tut. It's just too bad George is about to find out what Ape secretly does every night. What? Wait? No! Cut away time! <gasps> oh, yeah. And now George is about to discover Ape's secret collection of teen vampire ape fiction. And poor Ape is about to learn that no matter how fast or far you go, you can't outrun shame. Hey, that mean. Please, we don't need that guy. Why Sky Boys do that to Ape? <gasps> oh no, George! There's peril afoot. Hold on, little guy! Go, go, Jungle King! Run free, long neck horsey! George! <laughs> That's right, you keep running. I need your help, George. I lost my microscope. 
inside, Ursula. Oh, look. It's everybody's least favorite scientist, Magnolia. Excuse me, what? And she's about to have a bad day. An incredibly unlikely outbreak of, uh, let's see. Uh, oh, yeah. Itchy scabitis. No such thing. Where are you, baby giraffe? I need a scab scratcher. I'm gonna rub you all over. Ooh, bad luck for Magnolia. <laughs> ah, where's Magnolia? Her too? <laughs> Give me a break. Uh, suddenly Ursula was abducted by aliens. <laughs> wow, George Friend's having really bad day. I've called you here because I'm worried about George. The narrator won't let anybody near him. Why are you whispering? So he won't hear us. Oh, yeah, that's brilliant. Let's whisper so the all-knowing, all-seeing Sky Voice won't hear us. Yeah, that's totally gonna work. Okay, yeah, but you don't have to be so snarky about it. Why won't you let us near George? Why? I'm a star, and stars don't share scenes with hacks like you. That was low. Yeah, no need to get unprofessional. Ha! I'll show you unprofessional. Ursula is about to learn what Ape does with all his might. Now nobody needs to... Cut away! <laughs> Wait, don't you see what he's doing? Ah! Ursula, it's right. He's manipulating us. And why don't I show Magnolia what you did in her tent last night? What? Ah! <laughs> that was a new tent. And in a hilarious turn of events, Ape's about to discover what Magnolia really thinks of Ape's poetry. Wow, this stinks. It was experimental. Do you have any idea how long I'll be scrubbing? It doesn't have to rhyme. Hey, 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 hey. George friends won't wake up entire jungle? George, hello. Looks like an adorable little lion cub just got himself stuck in quicksand. No, wait. George rescue little guy in minute. George won't know what going on. It's your deputy. He's trying to take over. You have to fire him, George. Oh, yeah, sure. Fire the best help you've ever had. The jungle's never been safer. What's George going to decide? Keep his amazing deputy and enjoy a super safe jungle? Or side with his loser friends? Okay. George pick friends. What? George decides Sky Voice, not deputy anymore. Not so all-knowing now. But I can't go from a principal to a mere actor. How am I going to tell my agent? Now, Sky Voice, George thinks that... No, 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 no. I, I won't go back. Oh, well, what's that in the sky? Could it be a completely random, non-character-based meteor shower? Hey, what's Sky Voice doing? I'd rather destroy everything than go back to just talking about it. I'm going to narrate up an apocalypse. Now for an unlikely but exciting mutant land shark attack. And running is hard when there isn't any gravity. <laughs> ah! Mighty fish, go away! <laughs> no! Hey! Ooh, what this? That's not a vine, it's a power cord! And that's a camera! Oh, it's nothing, nothing at all. Pay no attention to it. Just put it back. George, follow that cord! Stop! Stop! A talkie box? Suddenly, our heroes stop what they're doing and go home because uh, their homes are now filled with... Uh, cupcakes! Yes, delicious cupcakes! George like cupcakes. Don't listen to him, George! <laughs> Wait. Why George and Friend sleeping? And that's when they realized that it had all been just a dream. Great! The worst kind of ending. This is a terrible episode. Wait. If it dream, why George still have power vine? And roll credits. <laughs> Wait! George think this is it? Whoa.
Okay, you finally found me. You're a squid. I prefer cephalopod. Calamari. Please, I can explain. If you'll permit me a flashback, I was just a lowly squid, one amongst thousands minding my own business. When I discovered this cave quite by accident, tempted by the knowledge it offered, I wired myself in. Since that day, I've been trapped, never able to rejoin my kind, only able to watch and describe. No excuse for being jerk. Um, how can you even talk? I'm so sorry, I couldn't resist the chance to stand out, be an individual. For a squid, that's big. Here's an idea. How about I narrate up a quick ending and we just pretend this never happened? Yeah, except the jungle's a disaster. Squid narrate jungle back to normal? You can't unnarrate. That's just crazy talk. Seriously? Nobody else is bothered by the fact that this is a squid? How is it even alive? There's only one thing to do, George. We need to pull the plug. Oh. Sorry, Sky Voice Squid. Uh, stop. Uh, we can talk about this. You don't know what's going to happen. Uh, ape, it work? It worked! Everything's back to normal. Si, la selva volvió a la normalidad. Gracias a nuestro heroes, Giorgiapi. Uh, close enough. Yes, there he is, the king of the jungle. And there's nothing George likes more than saving his subjects. Me save you, big pretty kitty! Yes, George loves helping his animals. It's only 10 a.m. and George already helped a zebra find her stripes. Plucked a baby ape to safety. And helped a sad hyena laugh again. Nice work, George. <clears throat> but does it seem odd how many rescues we've performed today? No. Me love rescues. <laughs> Must stop slow <Sloth> dance battle. <laughs> Sloth, wait. You know dance fight. You dance friend. Watch me show you. Friend, 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 friend. Baby monkey. Wait a second. George just rescued you from the river. Uh, that was my twin. Yeah, come on, let me go, bub. You got wrinkles and tattoos. What's going on yeah. here? Name's Mildred, performer with Jungle Theater. Okay, gang, the game's up. Take your bow. Bravo, bravo. <laughs> me not know why bees sting me for real, but me love it. And see. <laughs> Actors never work for free. Someone put them up to this. Someone who wanted to keep you busy. But who? Mm -hmm. Where did he get that? It fall out of baby ape's pocket. The ape council is behind this. It's ludicrous. Preposterous. Mystery solved. High five. Mystery not solved. I want answers, and I'm not stopping until... Fine. It was us. 
Look, the queen of the desert is due to arrive any day now. This being the year of the sacred jungle beach party. Every three years, the eight clans gather and conduct time-honored beach rituals. The construction of the sandcastle, the beach blanket boogie, and of course, the sacred volleyball tournament and weenie roast. But without a sand shipment from the queen of the desert, you can't make a beach. And no beach equals no beach party. We need that sand or all this awesome stuff we mail ordered is for naught. Not. So? So we always negotiate with the Queen of the Desert for her sand. So? We've seen George's negotiation skills. It's true. No deal. Okay, okay, me give you everything. Me say no deal. George is the only person in history to have negotiated with himself and lost. There's a new queen of the desert, so this is our chance to get our sand without giving up too many bananas. Bananas! We're putting a temporary king of the jungle in George's place until negotiations are over. What? Chicken butt. All hail the new king! Ursula? Me new king? No, not her! All hail the new king, Log! We can't sit around and let a log take your place. George, what are you doing? Writing letter to Log. Say, hello. <laughs> you seem like nice fellow. One, that's not a pen. And two, that's not paper. It's a turtle. And three, you have to prove you're the better king before the queen of the desert gets here, or the council will never reinstate you. You right, eh? Two orders of business. One, you got a letter. Second, there are two boring tribes of lemurs across the jungle. You need to negotiate a peace settlement. George, get there first and save day. <laughs> Easy. Uh, um. It's terrible, ape. Lemur's so mean to George! <laughs> in love because of Log! <laughs> I George. George, not good king. And George always cry at weddings. <laughs> you are a good king, George. We just need to show the council that. In honor of the log bringing peace to the warring lemurs, an honorary lunch buffet! This George's chance to show how good king he really is by eating like king. Remember, a real king shows patience and restraint. George? Oh, good. Oh. Eat everything! George! You ruined the buffet! That's terrible! Look! The log didn't eat a thing! It wants us to have its food! But it's a log! Welcome to the Camel Council! Colonel Osiris, Lady Hecate, and Alice, the Camel of Many Hops. When shall we meet your new queen? In good time. Until then, we are eager to see the ritual dance performed by your new king. This new king's dance is a little lackluster. George, this is your last chance to show them you're a better king than a log. No way log dance better than George. George got sweet moves. Hit it, monkey bear. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, back 
George wants to show everyone he good king. It's okay, George. I still believe in you. Bum, 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 bum. Our new queen arrives. That's the new queen? The sun sets. Let the negotiations begin! <laughs> it's been hours and the log hasn't said anything, but neither has the new queen. Wait, what's this? The log is definitely winning because, well, it's a log. Hmm. Camel Council called. George put wood on sacred fire. George, that's the log. <gasps> oh, Meatburn King! <laughs> ah, Meatburn Queen! George, you smashed them into a termite mound. Ah! Oh, no! I saved her! I saved her! <laughs> we are outraged and demand you surrender the entire jungle to us. No, Alice. That's not fair. Who be you? Me, Neferata, real queen of desert. Me, George, real king of jungle. But why you no do negotiations? Council tell Neferata she too smart for negotiations. Oh dear. Okay. What fastest animal in jungle? <laughs> Cheetah or gazelle? With jetpack or without? Whoa! You smart! Me test you! What Neferata's favorite ice cream? Um, chocolate? It is? We never have ice cream before. You smart! It okay, everybody. We both smart. Negotiations begin again. Ooh. Me like George. He have good heart. George like Neverada. Me give you whole jungle. <gasps> okay, then me give you whole desert. <gasps> okay, all done. Spring stand. Time for beach party. Ah. Why don't we just call it even, okay? Good job, King of the Jungle. I knew you were the right king for the job, George. George? I can't move. George stuck too. No worry. Tide come in. Watch us free. Hooray! <sighs> the jungle has many seasons. This, for example, is the hot season. You can tell because the hippos are melting. And this, as you may have guessed, is the rainy season. Followed, of course, by shark season, which is itself followed by clean season. And then flying mud ball season, which is the harbinger of the worst season of all, fire nado season. Or, as George so quaintly calls it, <laughs> volcano fart season! Five months later... Here, birdie bird. I just want to give you kisses with the inside of my mouth. Here, magnolia, olia. 
Ursula just wanna eat you. What? George, we need food, and we need it fast. <laughs> okay, George, go for snacks. George, just say we eat George? Uh, no. George, say... <laughs> That very nice, George. <laughs> you know what to eat, George. <laughs> One George not be enough for everyone anyway. Stay here where it's safe. George, get snacks. But it's too dangerous out there. It's too dangerous in here. Back zippy flash. George, watch out for the... <laughs> Fire needle. <sighs> huh? Where is George? Well, this is delicate. How does a narrator break the news to his main character that he's, well... Just spit it out already. Down here, kiddo. In the puddle. Ah! Crowley and I! Crowley and I! Name's Lumpy Joe, actually. And I'm here to show you around Fine Halla, the heavenly home of the greatest kings and queens the jungle has ever known. No kidding, right? These are all the kings and queens who came before you, buddy. Queen Rubberarm's the throwiest. Ain't nobody throw an angry monkey further than her. Like two miles! Whoosh! <laughs> King Vegas, the stylish. Hair that could stop a charging rhino in its tracks. And did! King Bodang Slammer, the strongest. He moved a river to save his jungle when everyone was all thirsty. And then moved it back real fast to save him from drowning. Queen Ice Veins, the bravest, she tamed the jungle while wearing a dress made of raw pork chops. King Turfburner, the fastest, he raced lightning and won. See, he just went to France and back. And I'm King Lumpy Joe, the very first king of the jungle. Come on up and take your rightful place among the greats, Georgie boy. George, very honored. He always try hard to be good king of jungle. So, what's your story? Tell us, and we'll carve it up on these pillars here for eternity and stuff. Well, friend's very hungry, so George go for snacks and step into Fire Nado. <laughs> Ouch. <gasps> king George who went for snacks and got burned to a crisp? Yep. <laughs> Get back to the living. And don't come back till you've done something great, you no-good bum. Now? For the tenth time, no. We're not eating him. Rats! Hey, George, go to Crazy Vine Hollow Place with other kings and queens. They tell George he not great king. They say his bum no good. <laughs> What? George, you're a fine king. Remember when you rescued Dennis? Who else would give a skunk mouth mouth? And what about that time you saved Jerry? Who else is strong enough to give a giraffe the Heimlich? <laughs> Only the great ape knows how he accidentally swallowed Dennis. And you rescued everyone here from the fire nado. And right now you're protecting me from this hungry mob, right? Nobody eat Magnolia. That's not okay. George Wright. She too stringy. See, you're a great king. At least that's what we'd say if we weren't going to starve. No worry, no worry. George has idea. He get food and prove he great king to find Hala. Just need to be brave like Queen Ice Veins. Queen who? George, wait! <laughs> For first time, George smelled good. You gotta do something great, not stupid! <laughs> huh? I told them they could eat your legs, but they had to stop at your knees. Hmm. Braveness not enough to be great, King. This time, George, be brave and run fast like King Turf Burner. Cats have nine lives, but I'm afraid George might be pushing it. Ursula afraid.
afraid he'd get too dry and chewy. Problem obvious. Need to be brave and fast and have great hair like King Vegas. George, hairspray and fire don't. Ah! Ah! George, stop this madness. You'll never make it through the fire nado alive. Ape, right. George must put out fire nado. And everyone have snacks, and George will be great king. So, George, be strong, like King Bodang Slammer. George, you can't wrestle fire. <laughs> <laughs> Ursula, like hers, medium rare. Go away, fire nado! Keep this up and you'll wind up where all the bad jungle kings and queens go. No, George don't want to go to find Hella. Ah! George, stop! Your brain's been overcooked! Fighting a fire nader with your bare hands isn't a sound strategy. Ape right. Fighting is bad. George will eat fire nado. George, I don't know where you're getting all these terrible ideas, but stop. You're not being yourself. Ape right. So, what would George do? Instead of fighting, George make friends with fire nado. George would be kind-hearted enough to befriend a fire nado. Then again, there isn't much left to burn. It's amazing. Aw, he's even taking Bernie canoeing. Bernie, you smell something? Congratulations, Georgie boy. You finally pulled off a feat worthy of a place in Vinehalla. You will be known forever as King George the Trickiest. Trickiest? But George not tricky. Pretending to be friends with a fire nado so you can lure it into the river. What's sneakier than that? But George really is best fire friend with Bernie. <laughs> <laughs> what next? Card night with the wind? Bowling with the air? <laughs> Don't listen to them, Bernie. George always be friends. You want to try on Green Hat? Who let that fire in here? So somebody put that thing out! No good bum. George, you're alive! <sighs> we were so worried. Maybe George not strongest, smartest, bestest, or even have best hairdo, but he promised to be king of jungle with biggest heart. Already accomplished, my friend. Me coming, Jerry! Oh. Oh, oh. Me coming, Dennis!
king of the jungle. Master of your domain. Respected by all creatures great and small. Or sometimes, not so much. I really need to rinse, George. Elephants, make space in water hole for ape. No hurry, ape. George Elephant Whisperer. Elephants move, okay? Hey, no! Don't make George ask more nicely. Okay, that it. Here it come. Please move now! See, elephant respect, king of jungle. I'm afraid not. What? Elephants what? respect lions more than George, king of jungle? <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> not respect, fear. Fear? Uh, what that mean? Oh, fear, yeah. Fear make elephants and George run. It is a powerful motivator. So, if George be like scary lions, then animals do what George say. I suppose, but that's not... Wow, it worked! George! Elephants scared of lions. Lions scared of lava. <laughs> George bet all animals listen to Volcano, George. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Burning rock good. Whoa. Lava scared of Ursula. Lion scared of lava. Elephant scared of lions. So George must be like Ursula. Wait, what Ursula afraid of? Ursula, fear nothing! Oh, you don't, do you? Quiet, Sky Voice! You're not even a little afraid of the Bush Baby of Doom? <laughs> I'll have to remember that. What Bush Baby of Doom? Oh, it's just evil, George, pure evil. It lurks in the heart of the jungle, where it's wreaked terror since the beginning of time. We have nothing to fear but fear. The bush baby of doom. Everyone fears the bush baby. Then George go to Heart of Jungle and learn to be like Bush Baby. Then oh. all animals listen to George. Are you sure you want to do that? Ah! What just happened? How did we get here? George, use edit. Now this right place for Doom Baby? Few animals venture into the dark heart of the jungle, for the bush baby of doom is so feared, so dreaded. Okay, okay, we get it. George, uh, do that edit thing again. No, George learned Bush Baby secret first. Aww, wait, no fair. It's cute. <laughs> Look, Ape, not scary, cuddly. George, be careful. <laughs> You don't need the jungle to fear you, George. Everyone loves and respects you already. <laughs> Leave baby rhino alone! <laughs> hey, George, serious! Listen to George now, okay? Hey, animals listen to George. They certainly did. Um, what are those? Oh, ape. Those fingers. Fingers. I'm worried about who. You seem different. You crazy ape. Me same old George. Ah! Huh? Uh, 
<laughs> I've seen this sort of thing before. Either your father was a jungle yeti. Ow! <laughs> or someone's been bitten by the bush baby of doom. He was definitely bitten, and clawed, and chewed, and then bitten again. But how did this happen? Well, everyone knows that anything bitten always turns into whatever bit it. Huh. Maybe George should have finished lunch then. George is turning into a bush baby. Oh, do. Is there a cure? Nope. George will go full bush baby by Thursday. Unless. Unless what? Unless it happens on Wednesday. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> But what if something else bite George first? Hmm. George ready. Do it, Rocky. Give George big chomp. George, rocks can't bite. And why would you want to be a rock anyway? Hey, what it got against rocks? Look, why didn't we get a human to bite you? Uh, how did you do that? <sighs> Don't ask. Uh, what happened to you? <sighs> it's a long story. Magnolia bite George, please. What? Gross! No, you're covered in hair. Just one nibble. Do it for science. Hey, I'm the scientist here, so I decide what's for science. And biting George is definitely not for science. Ow! Huh? You're not jungle yeti. Oh, George, feel funny. What? <laughs> There! George, George again! Right? Maybe if we mix in some cute and majestic, we can get you back to normal. Ah, you get bunnies to bite George? Not exactly. Be brave. <laughs> it work? Ooh. <sighs> Not exactly. Ow! 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 How George look now? Uh, uh, uh. Rescue now! Fix George later! Uh, George, wait! Oh boy. Dirty uh, horse should be careful playing around edge of. Oh! oh there, there. It okay. Uh, George, return. Baby bird nest. Two, three. Ah, 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 ah. George, help! Wait, what's Birdie doing? George, friend! George, you look incredible! Magnolia not think George monster? No, you're definitely a monster. But maybe a Nobel Prize winning monster! <laughs> Come out, George. The jungle needs its king. George not king. George monster. Even rocks and trees run from George. But George love you! Oh, thanks a lot, Rock. Now, Darkness, George's only friend. Darkness and Moss. Thanks a lot, Moss. Oh, come on! Oh, George just wanted respect. Now me just want to be normal. I have one last idea, but you might not like it. Bring it out! Bring what out? Hey! Bush Baby of Doom, this monster George Cave! Are you sure this is gonna work? No idea. Bite him! Bite him, George! <laughs> you ruin life! Take this, Bush Baby! Stage one complete. You're leaving without George? Am I?
George, like, Blue King of Bungle. Jungle, King of the Jungle. <laughs> oh, George. Many of you have worried about George. Has he been cured? Or is he still a disgusting, deformed combo beast? Well, see for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Kinda like George. Ow! Close enough for me. Ow! Tree by George! Hey! George always wanted to have tree hair! <laughs> it's the oldest of questions. What drives man to pit himself against the wild, to challenge Mother Nature herself to a no-holds-barred cage match of epic proportions? Thanks for the warm-up, ladies, but I'm hunting big game today. For Tiger Titheridge, it's to become legend and be crowned this year's Master of Macho. But this year's competition is fierce. Grizzly Lady Bear took the dreaded Lasersaurus down like a clown. Mako Manswim Jr. captured the hyper-cunning Great White Smark. And King Cobra snagged the Emperor of Yetis after a 72-hour toboggan chase. Wait, it looks like this hunt isn't over. Tiger has only one day left to out-hunt them all. And to do that, he needs to catch the one. The only Chupacabra. You're mine! Oh. Revol! Oh, hi, Tiger. I think I'm allergic to everything in this jungle. And, um, headlocks. It's here. Don't drop your guard for a second, Weevil. Don't even blink. Not blinking. George say about hunting animals, huh? Tiger and Weevil get naughty fingers. <laughs> it's not just an animal. Ugh, it's the Chupacabra. Chupi Cooby Doo? What Chupi Cooby Doo? <laughs> no, George. The Chupacabra. It's the trickiest and most dangerous of all Mother Nature's nasties. When the other predators tell scary stories at meat camp, it's always about the chupacabra. The steaks were gone. The chupacabra had replaced them with arugula. Ooh. Killer whales were originally land dwellers. Hey, you! Come back here! Classic Chupacabra, waiting until we were distracted by the narrator. George, rescue Weevil from Chupi Kubu. Not so fast, Jungle Pants. But George, save Weevil. This is your fault. You triggered that cutaway with your Chupi Kubu nonsense. Talk like a real person. You are going to help me avenge Weevil's loss. Tiger! But Weevil not lost yet. He's a goner. I'm really not. He was a loyal assistant. He carried rope like a champ, creased maps like a pro, and operated a microwave like a boss. Rest in peace, little guy. Can someone just please rescue me? You owe me, George. So you'll help me catch this chupacabra that struck poor Weevil down in his prime. I'm still alive! Got it, Leaf Eater. George coming, Weevil! I'll take your naked enthusiasm as a yes. You have to understand! Chupacabra is a truly worthy opponent. He's my nemesis, my arch enemy, my numero uno enemy type guy. But I'll show him Mano a Chupacabra. Where is it? Where is it? 
Chupacabra. Oh, lost baby. What? I trashed my Jeep for fruit. What if baby banana gets stepped on, or eaten by monkey, or mistaken for fat tiny boomerang? <sighs> it would learn to survive and become stronger. Abandoned by its own kind, the banana cub would be forced to face its worst fears and crush them. In time, it would become more than just a banana. A banana to fear, a banana to respect, a macho banana, an alpha banana, making the rest of its kind look like fancy organic plantains. Fierce and noble, yet lonely. Oh, that okay. George Orphan too. I was talking about the banana. <laughs> That's what tough tastes like. <laughs> We've got a chupacabra to catch. <laughs> the lair of the chupacabra. Chupi Kubu. Time for a visit from Mr. Catchy and Mr. Sleepy. No, saving better than hunting. Whoa! Forget it, hippie. Man was meant to conquer nature, not make friends with it. He was meant to have an amazing jawline and use muscular words like Chesterfield and ripcord. Not swing through the jungle in a tacky loincloth. Yeah? How tiger hunt without fang sticks? <laughs> Don't eat them. Meet Goodnight Charlie and Mrs. Bash. They're registered weapons. I have to check them when I fly. If you survive this, I'll be very, very surprised. Oh boy. Here, George, go. <laughs> As if. What in Hemingway's name? Oh, hi, Tiger. Hmm, you hungry? That chupacabra fellow left me all this delicious food. And boy, he makes a fantastic smoothie. It's good to have you back, Weevil. Hi, uh, thanks, Tiger. Uh, you know I'm bait, right? Of course, that's classic chupacabra, using my own lackey against me. <laughs> I don't know why, but I like the taste of your mustard chupacabra. I've got a place all ready for you on my trophy wall, right between a polar bear and a T-Rex. I see. Yay! Go, Tiger! defeated by gravity. Arch, ah! 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 I left you behind to get eaten. No, oh, George, no. But in unexpected twist, plant allergic to papaya conditioner George using hair. George always say, Take care of hair, and hair take care of you. Okay, but you still saved someone more fundamentally awesome than you. Why? Because George Orphan 2. <laughs> George left alone in jungle with no one in world to help. Until it found George. My, aren't you cute and hairless? Only difference between George and Tiger is George had ape. What if Tiger was saved by Big Monkey too? Maybe he'd be a nicer person. Blah, blah, blah. Get this straight. I don't need saving from nature. Nature needs saving from me. <laughs> Tiger! George, help! Don't 
you dare! <laughs> Classic chupacabra. But get a load of a real man's pits. Boom! And that's how it's done. Meet this year's master of macho. Come on, Weevil. Tiger sure he won't do that? Give Chupikubu second chance so Monster can change ways and live new life. Here, you beautiful monster. Tiger? Happy now? George, proud of Tiger. I didn't say he'd shut up about your mushy, hippie feelings. I don't even get a trophy now. Tigers still get trophy. Like a golden pat on the back and a first place kiss on the cheek. I am the master of macho. Good for Tiger. Turns out king of the jungle trumps emperor of the yetis. How long George have to stay here? Until next year. At least George have company. Is that papaya in your hair? I think I'm allergic. Mother.